Hey everyone, and welcome to Tabletop Obscure presents The Abomination Vaults. Yay! Yay. See, it's easier with hoist the colors because everyone can just go and kind of go, yar. Yeah. I refuse. Vaults. <laughs> <laughs> hey Tyler, glad to have you back. Yeah, I bet you are. Just come in swinging. I could say that last. I watched the VOD. Not very funny. You guys really, really lacked, lacked puns. Excuse so, me. Yeah. <laughs> I did an amazing callback to one of your jokes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And thanks for setting that up because now the third time I, um, like, use that can be in the fight with Belcora. So it's going to be the I'm funniest shit wait. ever, and it's going to defeat her. <laughs> yeah. I, I do Sonic think that Fury. I at least had two exemplar bard turns which just like you know I, I can't match you with the puns but i think in terms of playing a bard i, I did i did okay you did a great mm. you barded it up pretty hard yeah mm. but we don't keep have, tyler uh, for the botting we keep him for the puns so after oh you're right of, oh. yeah true after having a bit of a taste of bard is this uh maybe an avenue you're thinking about in the future I think about all of them, to be honest. You've got to try Bard once. You don't Star want to be that so. old woman on your deathbed, dreading not having tried Bard. Mm. <laughs> I wish I'd been a Bard player. It also <laughs> is my job IRL, so it's a little yeah. bit like, oh, yay, the accounting class. We all love that. We should all try the accounting. <laughs> you know, it's a bit... Because <laughs> hey, the, the thing wizard. about playing a Bard as an actual, like, musician is there's a lot of pressure to deliver on... <laughs> It's being genuinely good at the music part at the table, and it's like, no, no. I remember yeah. reading through the Airship Pirates um, game, and it's based off of a band, and the band had a big part in writing it. So when it comes to performance, performance isn't actually based off of charisma. They've got like mm -hmm. three or four different stats listed, and yep. their performance skill takes up like most of the page. Because they go into huge detail about how you know it's not just a, it's not just charisma, it's a combination of dexterity and intelligence and all these other things. And it's like, guys, calm down, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> wow, they took up a whole page of you yourself. <laughs> yeah. Is that that pirate punk, Apney Park or whatever they call? Yes. It? Yeah. Which apparently yeah. has kind of gone off the rails since then, but you know. As you, you do. And I saw them live, didn't we? We did see them live. Mm, what a I mean, but you've made them sound so sane and secure. What are you talking about? They went off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> Support local music, everyone. Um, I'm just trying to think. I mean, how is everyone? Everyone doing good? Cat used the term competitive, and I'm. <laughs> it's my new nice. favorite word. <laughs> Well, what did I name tonight's session? Need some compensation. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Mm. Yep. Fantastic. Oh. See, oh. We, we, we got the puns. We got, we got puns. Got <laughs> <laughs> oh, I touched it. Have, I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> but... Yeah. Yep. Yes, Tyler? I was just going to say nothing. Just doing good. Mm. Mad, doing mad good. chill. I've been, yeah. haven't done anything for like a week straight. It's been awesome. A holiday. Um, yeah. Let's fight some slime. Fight some slime things? Some compies? Yeah. Well, um, before we kind of jump into all of that, a little bit of um, back-end bookkeeping. Uh, we Ooh. have managed to find a fourth for Hoist the Colors. Oh, tell uh, us more. They Are will they be... a bard? <laughs> no, they're not a bard. Um, hopefully they'll be joining us in a couple of weeks, though. Oh. But yes, we have found a fourth, if you're not in the Discord. Um, yeah, no, Jules is going to be joining Hoist the Colors. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I, Matt, why don't you tell us a bit about the class that I'm planning on playing? Well, Jules is going to be playing a Thanator, which is the class I helped design Ooh. for Sinclair's Almanac. Fantastic. Which is on path to the completion. Um, if you supported the Kickstarter at any point, uh, check your emails and stuff like that. I believe the early release or the beta release for it is out and available. Version 0.9 is up for the Almanac, and it's it's looking tight. It is. Real... 
Um, my um, work it, mostly on the yeah. Almanac is finished at this point because um, it's all in the back end of like layout and printing and all that other stuff. Mm. But yep. it is almost there, finally. <laughs> finally. Well, because Matt, you, you, um, you sent me the party composition that I'd be joining into, and I was like, well, let's just shelve all the characters that can't take a hit because mm. <laughs> these guys... <laughs> like, <laughs> um. They're gonna need someone to at least take a few punches. It looks, it, yeah. Um, yeah. Do you think that they're a little bit squishy? It's not a bit squishy. Mm. Like there's a ranger in the party. Like a sorcerer, a cloistered cleric, and a ranger. And I'm, yeah. yeah, rangers you can you can uh, make a case, but it's so build dependent. Um, really, he sounds like ranger. Hear really good here. things about that cleric though. I think uh -huh. they might be a fan right. favorite. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Other backend stuff, uh, if you want to support the stream, uh, we got a couple of new emotes. Uh, oh, we got, oh, oh, if you yeah, haven't seen emotes. the, if you haven't seen the loggy emote, that's free for anyone who's following. But we do also have a compi emote for subscribers, mostly because I ran out of the free ones. So if you want to terrify other streamers, because I've been dropping loggy in people's uh, chats that I've been hanging out in. <laughs> And Fantastic. it's been pretty terrifying for everyone involved. They're like, that's a great emote. It's terrifying, but thank you. And yeah, now we can just kind of add compi to the list. We also have a chibi D10, which as Ninzat has put in. So it's, it's going to be, hmm, I'm inflicting pain on the universe. So I feel pretty okay with that. Mm. Uh, yeah. Otherwise... Uh, if you want to more directly help the stream, this is more for Hoist the Colors than anything else, but I do have a throne where I have a couple of um, funding goals for things like a new VTuber, so I, Deaton can be a little bit more animated than kind of just putting up his hand. Uh, also, I have one for a custom artwork for Hoist the Colors, so all the stuff that I'm working on regarding the Beast Raid, the ships, um, even the players, so they can get some custom art for all, all of that. Um, and I will probably be doing the same thing for Gatewalkers, which we're bringing in a couple of new players for. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's some interesting things happening at, here at the Obscure, and mm. be sure to be keep up to date on all the social media. I'm trying to post more to Blue Sky nowadays than Twitter, because I'm sick of the bots on Twitter. It's it's getting just terrible. Absolutely. But Elon terrible. got rid of the bots, Matt. What? <laughs> I don't know. What? <clears throat> yeah. I don't know who the fuck is slipping him the money to keep them on there, but they're not even good oh, bots. Oh, we do. We know. We know who they're, they are. They're not subtle. Like, they're not clever. <laughs> it's like the early 2000s follow bots, and it's just like, holy shit, they solved this problem decades yeah. ago, and you just. Anyway, I'm fine. This is fine. <laughs> it's all good <laughs> um otherwise no pressure with the front or anything like that it's just something extra to help out the stream any money that goes into there goes back into the stream to make things better because i want to get like editors and artists to kind of really elevate things around here and and i make no pretending of being like i kind of want to be the number one pathfinder streamer in australia yeah like yeah. no one ever was <laughs> number one out of well, <laughs> roughly, <laughs> there's like twelve. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm in like the top five as it is. I, I would like to kind of yeah. eventually hit to that number one spot. That would be kind of awesome, I think. But otherwise, yeah. um, first unless... Australia, then the world. <laughs> first we take Berlin. Something, something. <laughs> Well, I figure Australia, then Europe, and then we'll take over America. Yeah. Good plan. I think so. Otherwise, um, does anyone else have any other announcements? Particularly um, regarding hijinks? Uh, stuff is <laughs> happening. We're doing stuff. <laughs> A little slow moving, but we're going. Um, I don't think we have anything coming up partic particularly soon. Part 3 of Thirsty Sword Lesbians should be out. Sometime. And When's your um uh, Mechfinder collab? Uh, we're currently working on it. I've got some really cool terrain printed. Uh, and, <laughs> nice. And all of the uh, 
everything's basically ready to go. I've just we've just got to finish doing the pre-production, um, yeah, um, cool. which is mostly just yeah, waiting on some models. Uh, yeah. So I and was like, if anyone shoot, hasn't heard what that's shoot that next gonna be week, about, but... yeah, it's gonna be what like kaiju versus mechs. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a team of mechs versus a big space kaiju fella. It's gonna be real good, and the kaiju is real strong. Um, <laughs> The tenth level one shot, and it's the one for each is level thirteen or some shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't build it. Yeah, I didn't build it. Our, great, our great <laughs> friends over at MechFinder built that one for me. So, well, you know, it's it's a stream, so uh, we'll we'll fudge that as we go. <laughs> so, yeah, no, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, I think that's it for announcements, and I think everyone's pretty pretty eager to get into what's happening tonight so yeah. as i switch yeah, over maybe uh who wants to kind of be like what happened last week we uh hmm. oh look mm, i think yeah i think bill's really probably the person to explain themselves at this point in time explain themselves how accusatory <laughs> was that statement wow wow yeah. I'm not wrong though, right? <laughs> like, look, we went down a really long hallway, and it made us see yep. some shit, and there was nothing at the end. And that's all that Allegedly. happened last week. Yeah. So yeah. why are we standing surrounded by compus? <laughs> I don't know. Why? Uh, I don't know. I think. Oh, this bit of the dungeon is a fun house mirror maze. Um, <laughs> so you're just seeing the reflection. You know. Uh huh. Well, that yeah. makes sense. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you know, just uh, it's like a maze. Find your way out. Don't break any glass. Um. Yeah. To be fair, these companies didn't come out till after you went in that scary, sad room. Um. So could be an extension of that, or and I'm just spitballing here. We know that Belcora was looking for like a vessel or something. But what if instead mm -hmm. she found what she considers to be the perfect soldier? I mean, mm -hmm. you're pretty much they're cheap, theoretically cheap as hell, if they're just made of <laughs> compost and sturdy as hell, as we know. So who knows? Like uh, she's uh, just uh, ripping, she's just ripping you uh, off, uh, Adam. That's my that's my yeah. personal theory yeah. of what's happening here. Is oh, you've been ripped off. Going to yeah, I like that idea. That's, that's, that's what going? it's what Tyler said. It's that. <laughs> Oh, well, now I'm <laughs> sus. <laughs> yeah. Look, I don't um, think, I think anything about the situation mentioning... is not sus. Yeah, I think it's worth mentioning the mechanical detail that when one compy was hit, I think all of them got damaged. Hmm. The original... That's something that we had observed. Yeah, I don't know if it was that clear, but I think one of them was hit, and the compy that we came in with... Um seemed to react to the damage and then uh it didn't we don't know if it healed itself or not but it like it it was temporary it seemed to like go away quickly that reaction hmm okay more to the point the players are all paranoid at the moment it's it's lovely and amazing i love it <laughs> um that said because that's pretty much where we left off with all the other compies kind of coming into the room. I'll get initiative from Harry and Nathana. I have the um, elixir of eagle eye, which is going to put give me a bonus to my Why don't initiative. I do it? Where did I get 33 from? Your athletics check. If you want to re-roll it, you can. Uh, no, you know what? 33 is pretty good. And Harry? Oh, everyone's done really well. <laughs> I'm super proud uh, of all Ida, of you. you can add a plus one to that for my... You want to um... give me a plus one? No, I don't. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> oh, wow. Are we are we reconsidering the ally um, tag on a fellow player? My goodness. <laughs> do, I, do I need to remind everyone of, uh, like, our that safety is... tools? <laughs> we're, we're all... We're all uh, reasonable. We're all friends here. We're we all, yeah. we all yeah. 
I think yeah. we, will, we will come to an accord of some kind. I think it's important to say, before we get into the actual, like, combat things, <laughs> yeah. uh, I love you all guys, I've been having heaps of fun playing games <laughs> with you, and I hope I can continue <laughs> to <do it> in <laughs> Okay, I will say, yeah, as, like, just yeah. myself as well, like, no matter whatever Nathana's reaction to all of this is, Jules as a player thinks this is fucking excellent, and oh, yeah. no matter what happens, and I'm just so hyped. But if you betray us, I will ch chop your little mushroom head off. <laughs> yeah. I've got, a, I've got a big old axe. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of big old axes, I am going to move up and block this doorway and just start hacking away. I think people are getting packed up with hero points as well, and we're off to a very strong heart with, with a hit. And then I'm gonna take a um, use use my sweeping step action to move over and target this guy. Hmm. Sweep. Sweep. Oh that, yeah. Oh. What? Why Whoa. did that sound like a hit, but then came up as a miss? Alright. I think Great Axe is just always that bit extra. I have to make ah. sure I keep an eye on their damage. Okay, cool. Okay, that's, that's my turn. Alright. So, Harry swinging. So, yep. Yep, no Eider has three, everyone else has two hero points. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm putting these things down. And he runs off. I start swinging. All right, Nathana. Um, what I'd like to do is a sense motive check on Ida. Yep. <laughs> which I'm so going check, to make yeah. secret, and I'm assuming that's going to be against the will DC of Ida. Uh, it'll be against it'll be against a DC. I know what of the DC kind. is. Okay. Um, Ida looks very concerned at the moment, and is just kind of trying to <laughs> wrap his head around the entire uh, situation. Oh, uh, you should be a lawyer. Oh, too funny. Okay, um, all right. Like uh, he nothing. looks strained okay. as well, okay. as if something is overburdening his mind. Interesting. All right. Um... Yeah, okay. What you doing? What I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Infectious Enthusiasm from my Wayfinder because I swapped out the cantrip during um, the downtime before we headed down. Yep. Um, and I'm going to give it to attack rolls. Or, no, will saves. I'm going to give it to will saves. Sorry. <laughs> wow. And any ally that can see me take that can use a single action to give the bonus to themselves. Ally. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. All right, so if anyone wants to spend an action to get a bonus to a will save, it's there. If you need it, Ida, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my turn. So sense motive and um, cantrip. All right. Well, that was. This is some easy turns. Princess, what are you doing? So, being, you know, of the criminal element, mm. uh, Princess is good at the shell game, and this is the original compy. Yep. So I'm just gonna hold on to him. Well, you definitely hold on to him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I believe yep. that's going to be the restrained trait with that one. Neat. Definitely not going that way. They're all restrained. You've restrained every single one of them. <laughs> oh, wow. Good start. Oh, and let's not compete at death. <laughs> the restraint is not going to be sticking on the others, just so you're fully aware. Um, are you doing anything else with your actions? You... No, I think I'll just hold on to Compi. Just, just hold just on? Sort of, I'll hold you're on to Compi and I'll be like... You were already in action with your other two? To Eider. That was 
uh, one action to move, one action to oh, he moved. crunch. All right. Eyes her. Hey, that's me. That is you. Now, um, the big hmm. qu question. Are you going to attempt to command Combi? Look, I, I get the feeling that uh, I am like attempting to make you know that uh mental connection with them yes um and and i feel like it's probably very confusing um they're just sort of flicking their eyes around between the different compies that are visible and it it feels like they're like they don't talk to me you know it's it's a mental connection but it feels like they're sort of like whispering hello in a friendly voice but then like the end of that voice comes through really nefarious yeah like, no not that one it, it's it's muddled and clearly like uh it's putting some mental strain on um oh, look it's worse than that because as your vision kind of goes to each one their forms mm -hmm. seem to like shift and move as well mm-hmm so whatever visual markers you're trying to use to recognize your one, it's it's like identical twins swapping spots and clothing. Mm. It's rude. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I I want to I want to try and make like an active perception check and try and figure out which compy is the compy that I came in with, and All maybe. Right. Uh, like detect magic might help me. I don't know if I can like pick up my like fingerprint of magic over whatever other bullshit this is you know well by um, way of explanation yeah don't have to command compi mm -hmm. but well no he he does his own thing anyway yeah no, well know. that's the thing if you don't command compi mm -hmm. uh, he will in fact do his own thing if you yeah. do want to command him i will need a will save from you Gotcha. All right, look, I'm going to address all compies in the area. Um, and I want to want to try and make it clear because he's not he's not super bright. Uh, <laughs> look, <laughs> you being the real compie uh, can't make a mistake if you attack other compies, but don't get a complex it doesn't mean that you're bad it's just it's not your fault but Aww. attack yourself that's that's the the like blanket command that isn't an active like take these two actions you know yeah yeah that's that's what i think i'm gonna do so you're spending an action to attempt to command mm -hmm. sort of sort of <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm not using command undead, if that's what you mean. Okay. Easy yeah. done. Yeah, I'm just saying that as a like just attack compies and you'll be fine. Um Well, give me a religion check. Alright, I can do that. <laughs> Is it based off identifying necromatic magic at all? Yes. Well then I'll add that in. Ugh, yeah, that's all right. Twenty nine. Yeah, that's that's a, not too bad. That's a success by level these days. Just isn't it? Uh, you have a pretty good idea of which combi. Mhm. Mm and it's the one that Princess is holding on to at the moment. Mhm. Mm but you also getting a feeling that the essence of combi is also being shifted and pulled between all the copies. Look, if they're physically the same, it doesn't matter which one he's in, right? They're all just apples of garbage. It's pretty mm. much what you're starting to figure out with this whole situation. Like, his, mm -hmm. what his compiness is being pulled across all of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And is slowly being consumed by the rest of them. But, what are you doing with the rest of your turn? Look, I... I feel moderately confident. Is the door... All the doors are open, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, I'm going to target the guy. Escape is always an option. Sorry? Escape is always an option. Yeah, true. 
Um, well, and back in, into the maze room. <laughs> in thought of that, uh, I'm going to try and clear the doorway of the way out, or at least the way that we came in. Um, yep. um, I'm going to cast Searing Light on the one to the north. At level four. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. Oh, I'm going to re-roll that because that was terrible. I was about to say, you have the hero points. Yeah. That's uh, uh, still a miss. <laughs> oh, that was my turn. Uh, look, as I said, the build up for that. as you kind of look upon the compi to the north and you kind of, mm -hmm. you go to take the shot with the spell as you gather the energy within yourself, it, it, its visage shifts to the one you're very familiar with and it looks mm -hmm. sad. So I throw the shot. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, All right. Rough. The compies. Now, yeah. this is more of a making. This is more of a back end foundry thing that's showing them all as being restrained. <laughs> I can't do much about that, unfortunately. But we will start with the one that is with princess and it's you know what's really try... tripping me out is that if you look at them through your peripheral it looks like the gears stop moving uh, i think that's the animation thing yeah. oh is it i thought i was onto something really cool uh, they do lag they're... every now and again but yeah, yeah it's because there's so many enough. animations going at the same time <laughs> yeah yeah if you uh, zoom is... right into one it's not as bad yeah is that a hit, princess? Yes. You get hit for 11 damage. I'm also worried about my positioning now. <laughs> well, speaking of positioning... Nope, I have to use this one. Is, is that an uh, escape? Did he escape from me? Ah, uh, no, he was just doing damage to you. Okay. Um, he will, however, use his second action to do that. Uh, this will be at minus five. No, he's staying. And that, that, that. 20 feet of movement. Let's zoom this out so everyone else can see move it's restrained like i said as a it's a kind of a foundry thing that has the moles restrained oh, no, because i have to link all the actors all restrained yeah i get that because they're linked to the one sheet but the one princess is holding on to can't move yeah that's the one down here yep, so that one's still down here oh yeah, sorry i thought it was this one here no. i can't see that one right yeah <laughs> yes. Oh my god, there's so many freaky looking pieces of shit right now. Hey. It's okay. It's <laughs> fine. How do you explain this one? Just, yeah. <laughs> that one's made of meat. He's had a lot yeah. of beetroot. Oh, that's right. You, you don't yeah, need to remember. Lots of beetroot. Lots of beetroot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. That loggy. <laughs> All right, we're targeting Harry first as he gets punched twice. Yeah, bring it. That'll be a hit. Oh, well. Can't have any pudding if you don't have your veg vegetable punches. And then you get punched again. I'm just rolling really well. Normally, I'd have this whole spiel about, hey, I got villain points. I doesn't look like I'm going to need them. And then you, Eider. That'll be a hit. Also, Tyler, you're hot micing a little. What? You're at. Um, before you move on. Yep. Do they, wherever that reaction is, blip, 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 I can bleed. Yeah, I can bleed. Was it, what kind of damage? Bludgeoning? 
bludgeoning. Ah, carry on. Carry on? <laughs> yeah. All right. Withdrawn. Then... So on so. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. <laughs> That'll be a miss, Zafana. And got to do the final movements for these guys. And that's them done. Where are you? Sorry, I think I missed it. Damage. Uh, cool. I am going to move... Here. Yep. Step around them, and then I'm going to cast a 5th level sunburst. Ah, oh, beautiful. I'm going to put it right there. And those ones need to make a forge sheet saving throw. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll your damage. As I roll up the other ones. Wow, so Please tell me the one that quickly failed was with his meat sack. We don't we don't want the meat sack to be around for much longer. Um we can make it the meat sack, that's fine. Cutest one. <laughs> but I do have to track a thing. Yeah, no, that's gonna drop him past it. Alright. What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The compies as a reaction. First things first. Iter. Mm. I need yep. you to make a will save for me. Mm, okay. Is it... <clears throat> um some sort of emotional effect. Um, not exactly. Say that again, Matt? Not exactly. Okay. I've done very poorly. Oh, I don't right. like the way they're moving towards each other, guys. I mean, I don't like the way they're moving towards each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, we can go. Ah, what? <laughs> ah, good. Oh, delete that one, that one, and that one. I'm confused. Well, that makes my um my hunt prey decision a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> now, to describe as this happens, as you start to hack away at the various compies, uh, they begin to fall apart into various bits, as if a creature that hasn't been put together right. And as they fall apart, they start to kind of slurp towards each other, and then mm. recombine into bigger forms. Great. They the thing it <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, yes. Um, as for you, I saw this sensation that kind of rings through you as Compi is pulled into this other kind of massive necromatic energy that mm -hmm. is not quite your own causes you immense strain as you become stupefied one. Okay. Oh, woof. And is the other compi supposed to be same same thing? Um, you don't really have anything to um. You don't really have an F, uh, reaction for F legs, do you, princess? What do you mean? 
Well, your reaction can only be done when you're raging, if I remember. My wrestling ones can be done while I'm regular. Why? Do you have a reaction for a wrestling one? Kind of. Like, does this cat... Does growing so big that I can't hold him count as an escape? Uh, yes. Cool. <laughs> yeah, grabbed a restraint, successfully escapes. Yep, make your armed melee strike. Yeah, that fits. Nice. Sinch strike. Clinch strike. I can breathe. <laughs> Unfortunately, that won't hit us. <laughs> okay, yeah. I see. Yeah. That will. What did you say, Matt? I didn't yeah. hear you. No, no, it's fine. You spend a hero point. You get your reroll. 26 damage. Beautiful. Tracking hit points, all right. Well, um, Harry, you just moved in December, so that's you done, I believe. There it is. As Princess kind of punches the giant compi. He grows, I get scared, I punch him. Yeah, look, it makes sense. I do have to remove the restraint off him, though. Yeah. Boop. And are you happy I didn't pe pick the meat sack one? Yes. <laughs> I'm... I picked the skull one instead. As a vegan, <laughs> I like meat sacks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's not. What's, the, what's the plan? I'm going to base it off my knowledge, of, like prior knowledge of Compi. We've ascertained previously that he has... Um, weakness to vitality, right? Yes. No, he's vulnerable to vitality damage, I should yes. say. Yes. Um, these creatures have changed a little bit as well. Um, I will cast it on this one here. Cast it on that one? Yep. And he has to do a fortitude save? This is probably his best save, but... Wow! Uh... <laughs> Now, is that considered a critical? Because it's 26 on the die, but it's a 1, so it goes down. I believe so, the... yes. I have to I have to look at it. Which... Because plus What's your DC? 0. It's 26. Yeah. So, so DC is no, 26, it... so that... Oh, it'd be would just have succeeded, failure. so it's just Oh, a look at that. Failure. So that's the only way it could have failed. Okay, so it will take the persistent damage at least, which is... Which is good. Good damage, too. Um... Oh, so wow, Compi literally could not critically fail that. That's amazing. The system works! Um, the system works! <laughs> and then um, so, with the persistent vitality, does that proc weakness to vitality every time? Uh, in the past, I've said yes. Um, I've got one action left. Yeah. What do you do? Um, are you that central? I will just hunt prey. I'll just do hunt that. Hunt prey? Alright. Yeah. I'll burn that action now. And princess? What about... I mean... <sighs> <laughs> How tall are the ceilings? How tall are the ceilings? Oh, I will have to look that up, but I believe they're about 40. Okay. I've just uh, double-checked if persistent damage does trigger weakness, and it does as long as it's a separate instance of damage. All right. Matt, if I want to get into Compi... Yep. Is that, like, difficult terrain? At the very least. <laughs> terrain, but it is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> like, Phil Fever immediately comes to mind, but Fortitude's pretty good for you, so, you know. Yeah, no, I'm pretty good with Fortitude, like... I, I want to get in there and like grab an item <laughs> out of him, and then book it. Yep. Well, like if me... I can just spend three actions to do that, I will. Give me an athletics check. You got it, buddy. You know that cursed bag of holding that like the item that you want is always at the <laughs> bottom, sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. 
It's like a full, if I remember right, it's a full turn action. so much crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a flat. success. Cool. Flat check to see if you even pull out. <laughs> now, what in particular are you pulling out of Compi? I mean, he's pulled out that Belcora flesh like five or six times recently. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> so I figure that. You want this? No. Ah. Ooh. Ooh what about this one? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why do you have all this? <laughs> Why did we let you do this? <laughs> um, I think you're after this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, Just... for, for those who are listening, we've had a totally unicorn horn, a nice sulfur zombie belt, and then the pound of flesh from Belcora meat statue. So, like, as a chest burster, Princess jumps out of Compi's chest with a pound of flesh above her head and just starts running. Yeah, right. There's a hand on your shoulder. Um, Why? <laughs> and you look back and realize that there's like a length of hands <laughs> tailing back to Pompey. Uh, it's a garland <laughs> of hands. That's really funny. Alright. I think that's you done though, princess. Yeah. Amazing. Such defeat. Alright, Ider. All right, do it, do it, do it. Go, wall flesh. Damn. <laughs> I saw you measuring that up before. I knew it. I know. And then I did it for fun. Um, you guys, what if we? Uh... <laughs> I'd like, I'd like a wall flesh, please. And then I'd like to command Compy and tell him to fight the fake Compy. So you're using an action to command? Yeah, I would like to try that. Well, actually, I'm stupefied, so I'll uh, I'll give you a flat check for yep. um, casting a spell. Lift flesh. You're good. No problem. Yep. Um, and then I am attempting to uh, command undead. Okay. With all of so, the, the fun that that entails. A couple of things first. One, I okay. this. Commanded animal has the concentrate trait, particularly in this situation, yep. so I need you to do okay. another flat check against the stupefied. Sure. You're good. Now I need you to make a religion check. Okay. Huh, why did my bonus go down? Oh, yes, yeah, stupefied. Never mind. Um, something, something necromatic magic again? Pretty much. Uh, oh, no. Do you have um, hero points? Yeah, I do have hero points. I may as well use it. Oh, I'm starting with my cornmeals already. Yeah, there you go. It's All right, cool. that'll be a success. Oh, I see. How's the final person? Hey, Tyler. Yeah. You're still hot, Mike and Bud? Oh, it's because my brother's yelling behind me. Oh, He's okay. Really... <laughs> All right, my I guess. This is just one room. I don't... <laughs> oh, fair enough then. So, what are you trying to command Compi to do? Uh, fight the imposter Compi and prove you're the the, the to superior step one. Then to punch. Uh, yeah, but fight for fight for you know dominancy or whatever. Oh wow, this is gonna make what happens next real bad. So. In the course of that a whole round, uh, Compi has blown through a couple of thresholds, and he is kind of on his final threshold here. Mm -hmm. So, as the Compi you're commanding kind of charges up to lay a hit in, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do it. Oh, see, that's just perfect. Uh, Compi's fist oh. sinks into its chest, and mm -hmm. we watch as it gets pulled into its body. 
his own body that they merge it's a, it's a mega compy even bigger it's a mega yeah. complex yeah. as compy grows massively filling the room and you just see his head kind of look over the top of the wall uh-huh. yeah fantastic <laughs> As I, uh, I think I lost connection, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Now, in this form, he has reach. Hey, princess. That'll be a hit. Does he have reach over the wall? Yep, because of his height what? at the moment. Hell. He's a gargantuan creature. What size? What kind of wall is it? Actually, how tall is the wall? The what wall is, is it's 30, 30 foot. feet. I thought it was it's the turn 20 last foot time. tall. 20, 20 foot 20 tall, foot so tall yeah, he is good. Yeah. So we can I swim. am like holding a mouth watering piece of meat as well, so. What sort of wall is it? Mouth? Eyes? Arms? Um, I think I would have gone eyes, probably, so that I could still see. Well, you're being greeted by this sight. Before <laughs> his next action, he is going to attempt to kind of climb over the wall. Ah, oh, fantastic. But in this case, it's kind of like a squish as well. That's everyone's <laughs> favorite. Oh, yeah, because yeah, wow. you have to squish to get over the wall between the roof sort of thing, right? Uh, what's your spell DC? Um, let me scroll all the way up to the top. Oh, Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. It'd be minus one because they're stupefied. Mm, yeah, it should be twenty-nine. So it would be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. It's like attack on Titan. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> Someone, please, anyone in the chat, if you can draw with me, compy. Attack of Titan to start looking over and more of eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be fantastic. I'll pay you in imaginary money. <laughs> I'll give it's you like a real money, but eyes. it's imaginary. And for its final action, it's going to swing out at you, Iter, trying to grab a hold of you with both hands. This will be a strike, though. Can you? Sense. Uh, I saw a giant gorilla do this once. <laughs> Got him. You take 24 damage as his crushing hands come down around you. You get the feeling as if he's trying to absorb you inside. Mm. Yeah. We are as one. Essentially, yes. Mm -hmm. Harry. Yes, Humpy is Borg. As I do the damage for our, our dear friend Compi. I don't want to try. Mindless. It just feels like it's a waste. Which is most of my spells! Uh. Sorry! It's fun. If it helps, I can tell you now this is the last instance of Mindless. That. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. It's the best words I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> wow, it's literally every spell. Who built this character, wouldn't it? Jeez. Um, Alright, I'm going to inspire courage because that will actually be useful. Um, I'm going to come here and just hang at his leg, I guess. Do what we gotta. <laughs> it is the natural 20. Oh god, really? Uh, just to be, just, just to be that just, guy. But if he's just, on top of the wall, can you reach? Uh, he's kind of slurping down the wall as well. Oh, it's gonna be well, they're slurping. I didn't understand that they were slurping. Carry on. Also, um, keep in mind, both hands are kind of around Ida at the moment, so. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, good point. Yeah, I'd take a big yeah, if you hack. Yeah, you continue to hack. Oh, and, that'd be great. Um, it's sorry, that's not the crit damage. That's just the regular. 
That's yeah, just regular damage. Up. Yeah, do it. Do an undo on that. And I just do a check and ignore that dice. Uh, it's electrical damage, so. Woo. He does there have is weaknesses and resistances. Damage. Yeah, I mean, that's why I had to pick. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to reroll it? Uh, yes. See, that's Seven. a bit better. Well, no, because if I doubled the other one, it would have been 44. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. I don't take it. Um, oh, right. And everyone gets a spark punch. Well, there's actually, sorry, I didn't put the inspired courage on, so there's actually two more damage. Never, never mind. Whoa. <laughs> uh, how do you do this, Harry? Um, I think I swing. And then the like as he's falling over the wall, and the weight of his body like slurping over the wall drives him forward into the act. It's just sort of like oh, no. <laughs> the, the yeah, trouble you know, just is into into like just like an avalanche of well, I, yeah, compost. <laughs> yeah, essentially, yeah. Rhyme. And well, that is as things go. Uh, <laughs> for you, however, Iter, uh, as you kind of saw Compi reach down and kind of crush you underhand, uh, mm. even as like you saw this massive face that was a facsimile of the one that you know, you kind of saw in your mind's eye the true Compi, the real one, mm. Mm. kind of reach out to you. You know, in that single-handed gesture, as all these other masses of compies were trying to pull him back. Mm -hmm. And as you reach out to kind of grab a hold of him, the connection is severed. <laughs> I, I'd are like, just, it is like dropped, you know, from being held, uh, but then also like just drops to their knees, uh, and they're, they're trying to be cool about it, but like they're, they're clearly just like bowed their cap down at the ground and they're whimpering a little bit. Uh, I don't know, I'm sorry, but so you were in danger and I didn't just sort of acted, you know. Uh, it, You could make him again, right? Seems like every time I try, it just it just gets a little worse, you know. This is well, yeah. This was not great. I'm, I'm concerned that um, you know, Belcora can influence your necromancy like this. Just really don't like her. We should maybe re-murder her. Uh, and Harry does like a eyebrows wiggle <laughs> in an attempt to like be levitous in the situation. Don't know if that's a word, but we won't with it. <laughs> um, I'm going to, by way of assurance, just try to um, reassurance, try to heal. Either up. Yeah. And I rolled really well on pretty much everything, which is nice. Yeah. I can just take that as well, right? Yeah, yeah, it's for everyone. If you can heal, like... Oh, ow. My wounds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I've also increased your super okay. five for to two. Eider? Matt, help. Eyes becomes one. <laughs> yeah. I've done a bad, Matt. I can't, um, I can't do anything. Just that room super right five, now. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't take the feat to get rid of stupefied. Oh, it would be able to help in this instance. Good. <laughs> this is plotline stupefied. Yeah. How many? Yeah. Um, how many monster parts do we get? <laughs> <laughs> you don't get any monster parts. You just get some gibbering eye mouths, some wood yeah. golem bits, and some oh, yeah. Yeah. and a hydra head, and uh, some deep peak. <laughs> um, because you were describing monster parts right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Princess uh, tries to like put it back like a snowman. 
<laughs> oh dear. <laughs> like roll it up. <laughs> and just like, yeah, roll it around all the stuff he collected. Um I'm going to I whistle to the other Careful, others. okay. Uh yeah, we just um I don't want to stay still for too long. I want to keep moving. So I think Belkora's probably got more surprises. She knows we're coming. I mean, the town is gonna have a Um, anyway, there's a gonna... door here. It doesn't look as obvious as the other door, so it might be less of a trap. Are you gonna be alright? I'll catch up. I'll be there in a sec. Okay, bud. If you want me to, like, yell at the gods of death, I will. I've got their number. <laughs> Which is somehow worse. <laughs> now, uh, as a good GM, I'm just checking one in with it, all my players. Are you all okay? Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Good? Okay, cool. Yeah, that was sick. I would never um, be okay again. <laughs> all right, I'm moving gonna, on. I'm rolling a perception check to see if there are any like secret doors or traps. Because I've got... a. Uh, Bonus to that with my elixir. And I make a perception check to see what that big stone slab is. Can oh, I open the door it's... if it's okay? It's, oh, wow. Is it a stone slab? Uh, <laughs> it is something of a stone slab. It looks to be made out of solid soil. Oh. How tall is it? Oh, it, it fills the entire hallway. Oh, yeah. So it's just a big block passage. Uh, kind of. If you wish to approach it. I mean, I looked at I looked the hell of at it. I've never looked at something harder in my life. <laughs> this big stone slab won't open. Oh my god! Princess. Not that room, Prince. <laughs> Princess. <laughs> okay. As you approach the uh, big pile I of. Just... I just want to say, I did not open that door. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, okay. As you approach the big slab of compacted soil, it all just kind of melts away. Mm -hmm. And it has a very familiar composty uh, swamp smell to it. Mm -hmm. oh, was it made of compy? I mean, I'm not going to go into it, but... Okay, cool. Yeah, no. <laughs> You guys, this is my kind of room. There's a giant face to punch. I'm going to very quickly open this door just in case it gives us a way to go, uh, to go around. Uh, that goes into the hallways from before. Ooh. Okay, lovely. Is this uh, something to avoid, Matthew, or is it just color? It is a river to jump over. However, or you can just use the leap action. As you approach that far... Because you're at the edge of the river there. Let's give chat the full view of this room. Oh my god, is it part of the River of Souls? Kind Stop. of. I take a drink immediately. Don't do that. <laughs> a stone angel drops from the ceiling, kind of landing and perching upon the skull presented at the end of the room and kind of regards all of you with its blinded eyes. Speak of, let's give you a better look at this thing. Stone angel. Finally, you all have come to meet me and glory in my designs. Shut up my job. What designs would that be? I am Tamalin Havaro, the architect of the Abomination Vaults. What are the Abomination Vaults? <laughs> I'm gonna go into a rage. <laughs> I hate this story. <laughs> so we have you to thank for all the fucking antechambers. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's kill her. She doesn't deserve yeah. I yeah. also yeah. like, can I have a free share rage because of how angry I am <laughs> at the anti chambers? I'm going to say yes. No, but I'm going to get 
initiative from everyone as you yeah. um, Tamalan the have, act uh, contact. I would have hunted prey as soon as she dropped down. Uh. And we get that. Um, punch face and Ita can take a plus one. Oh, that was so close to a nat 20. Ooh, I'll do that as well. The plus ones? Ooh, you get a free demoralize. That's really that good. That will be a success. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this giant, terrifying stone angel perched atop a skull. A doll walks in. <laughs> An angry doll walks in. <laughs> learns they made the antechambers immediately gets pissed. All right. Well, let's start this party, shall we? All right. So Tamlin is my hunt priority. Yep. Um. Um. Yeah, Hunter's Zane. Chamber it's Angel. Gonna be, gonna be the thing. We'll see how much resistance they got. Oh, I'm gonna hero point that. You gotta I really hero do point. See what happens at the end of this arrow. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Shift click. Pew pew! That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm the exact opposite of Andy. You're right. I'm, I'm glad people have uh, picked up what I put down there. Um, And then, using my trick sh uh, shooter archetype, I can activate arrows with a single interact action for free. Yep. Um, I'm going to shoot a life shot arrow at her. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll see how this how this goes. Oh, go. that should be twenty six because I didn't have target was my hunt prey. Uh, that will still miss, unfortunately. That's still good. All right, that's my turn. Oh, um, right. Princess, do you want to hold your turn until I move to mine? Okay. So I can buff you. Um. Well, I'll move to Harry, and move. Fast. I'll make it real quick. Inspire courage. Well, that, no, that is quite quick, isn't it? Also, I'm fully... I'll get that. It's fine. And that's my turn. Alright. Princess, haste it up. Raging. Um, you know Inspired. I have, like, all the, the jump moves, right? Yeah. Okay, this so... Is just turn next to you, I'm like... Go get him, buddy. <laughs> and then I'm just, I'm gone. And you're gone? Let me move. What? Something's gone wrong. Are you on the right I thing? On, I was not on, in fact, on the right thing. Oh, yeah, no, that'll do it. Can you meet a move? I think so, yes. All the way. And then give her the old one, two. Have I got her selected? Begin the punching. That's a hit. Oh, nice. Nice. Sweet. All right. Minus 10. And that'll be a miss, unfortunately. That's okay. So will that. That will also be a miss. And done? Yep, and done. All yes. right. 
Well, none of you are really close yet, but that's fine. Okay. So. <laughs> He's going to leave your space, princess. Uh-huh. If you have an attack of opportunity or something alike, you can use it. Guess what? Yeah? Do. You going to do it? Going to do it. That's a hit. And we go that... You're chipping away at her, but it appears that she is made completely of stone. Um, I've borrowed through stone before, I'll do it again. For her last two actions, she is going to use her special Architect of the Abomination Vaults ability. She's going to create more interchange. That's bad. <laughs> Ah, uh, funny. A bunch of doors just opened? I think just an antechamber just dropped on punch face. <laughs> As an antechamber oh, rises up <laughs> around you, princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, weird. That's happened twice now. Um... <laughs> Uh, that is two actions, though, so with her movement, that is her done. I wait, so, wait, no, wait, stop it, wait. Yep. Yeah. So she dropped an antechamber on me and it didn't do anything other than inconveniences me? Uh, the antechamber, the walls of the antechamber, as they rise up from the ground, uh, seal you in from floor to ceiling. Does it have doors? It does have doors to the east and yeah. west. They are locked. Yeah, okay. yeah. So you have to spend two actions to move and open the door. And yeah, okay. I mean, do I? I don't you know. Kind of do. You'll have to Bashing use Unplex text to um force open. Bashing charge. <laughs> yeah. Bashing charge is also an option. <laughs> but Iter, it is your turn. Ray yeah. of death. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna try and shoot away at it. Web. Shoot away? Go for it! Right. I'm not sure what... This is like a stone angel. That is correct. What if we just all stare at it and no one blinks? Haha. Uh -huh. I'm just really <laughs> waiting for it. <laughs> um... I don't really know much about stone angels, uh, yep. but I, I could do some force damage to it, or I could do some sonic damage to it, and I'm not sure which one to try. Uh, They've both seen I, good options. Yeah, both seem I mean, pretty force damage. Force damage hits pretty much everything. Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll try the force damage, hey? Alright. Yeah, let's cast Inner Radiance Torrent, please. Just a, a cheeky two-action one. If they could make their uh, reflex save, please. Oh, reflex is kind of bad for them. No, as a stone angel? Yeah, it's kind of bad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. You... Please, Matt. Oh. Wow, all right. Um. Yeah, uh, that's a critical success. Well, they take no damage then, do they? Um. As it kind of finishes up the antechamber around Punchface, it turns to see you just in time as mm -hmm. you kind of blast her, and she brings up a wall from the floor to block it. Mm. Dang it. Woof. Um, I've got an action left, but... Oh, I just sort of hold my chest and realize that I can't command my friend. Uh, awkward. But like more dead, more like the bad dead. Like he was already dead, but that was different. Yeah. Take the, take the alien off the necromancer right before the final. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> That's real life. Okay. Uh, they're way too far away for me to like stare him down or anything. I'll just wait. Yep, end of my turn. Okay. Nathana. 
Um, all right. I think my best option right now is to just keep shooting and hope I get a critical for maximum sonic damage. So, in the spirit of that... Yep. That's a hit. I wish you'd have got garlic bread. <laughs> oh, that's... God. Sorry, that was an out loud word, sonic. wasn't it? My bad. <laughs> it will just I'm be the five scared. sonic. Alright, um, I will also grant my Warden's boon to Harry, just in case, yeah, just the flurry, just in case. I don't think you'll, actually, no, I don't think you'll get a chance to really make use of it next turn, so. Yeah, I was um, like, how long does it last, because I'm not getting yeah, it. Only till the next turn. Um, you know what, I won't do that, I'll get rid of that. I will move so that we're not completely bunched up together, and I'll get next to the store. It's my turn. All right. Harry! Um, what's it take to cross this? It's a fairly... Uh, it'll be a leap action. Uh, you can do a, a leap... leap uh, you can do a leap action as a part of a stride, though. Fair. Fair. Yep. Yeah. That one's it. How funny would that be? <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, for a leap, you don't have to roll F legs for it, but I do appreciate it. I don't know what you mean. Um, I'm gonna get all the way up in there, yep, and target this big some some bitch, yep. And then I <laughs> am going to project into her mind uh, the image of what's like to uh, be stuck in an antechamber for 300 years or, or however <laughs> long for for antechamber Andy, yeah, stuck in one. And I'm going to cast a 5th level Agonizing Despair. Fantastic. <laughs> that's so harsh. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's some good, like, payback for, for NPCs we care about. And Harry's not laughing and uh, looks up and goes, let's see how you like it. That's all right. That'll be a so success. Be fun. And you'll take whatever half of it is. It does take half of the damage, but even as it kind of... You see the visions kind of go over its eyes as it glazes for a second, but she shakes it out of it quickly as she points at you and goes, Joke's on you! I'm into that! <laughs> okay? Like... <laughs> tell someone who cares. <laughs> uh, that's you done, Harry? Movement yeah, and a uh... spell? Princess! Okay, just by like a slight feel, does this feel like I'm in uh, like a its own box or is this part of the floor? Part of the floor. Ah, beans. Mm. Okay, well I'm just going to break out through the wall. Yep. Um, I will need a flex check. You're already ahead of me. Uh, that's not going to be enough. Your point? Yeah, no, I'm late, man. Check. Oh yeah. Uh, that is one of the successes I need. As you get through half the wall. But okay. <laughs> is the next one regular or minus five? Uh, minus five. Seems rude. Oh. Do you not know who I am? <laughs> you gotta use it every hero point. Chat has. I it don't have one. any. Oh, really? Thank you. I just yes. gave you one. You knew. <laughs> uh. Unfortunately, that will come a bit short. Minus ten. <laughs> you are hasted. <laughs> Oh, wow. It's just really determined, isn't it? Does it stop at minus 10, or does it go down to 15? It stops at minus 10. Radical. <laughs> yeah, right. Just you pinging back and forth on the box like a like, <laughs> like flubber. Yeah, <laughs> incredible. Sounds like the angriest beehive in the world. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of looks over her shoulder at the antechamber and smiles. 
You're a piece of shit. <laughs> I do need to roll a d4 for her. Oh, okay, cool. One means she fails, right? Uh, no, that's the recharge. <laughs> mm. oh. That's at the end of this round, right? Correct. So next round she'll be able to do it again. Lovely. Yeah, no, we're going to activate our slowing pulse. Uh, actually, no, yeah. we're going to move first, and then we're going to do it. <laughs> if that inflicts an attack of opportunity, let me know. Uh, no, I don't have. Is my courage on this round. And she's um, going to do that. Okay. Uh... Did you just move Princess with her? Oh, in no. the box? Nope. No, doesn't look like it. Ah, oh, I don't know what's going on for me then. Follow it... child. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Uh, you're not slowed as she is, however, since you're there, uh, gonna bop you one. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Look, I, I did the antechamber thing. I'm happy. If that's the only thing I get done in this fight, I'm good. <laughs> yes, my bad. Iter. Hey, that's me. All right. Is that well, you? yeah. Some torrent of force didn't work so well. You can't stop sound with a wall, right? Well, you can, I guess. Directional but... sound, you can, yeah. And cast this. Spiritual torrent? Yeah. Uh, just a sweet two-action version, which apparently I can't pick from the thing. Oh, well. Well, the only difference is, yeah, the... Difference yeah, the is... tone or a line. A line is fine in this instance. Uh, if you could roll a, uh, fourth save for me, please. I Pick a card for no you. reason and wipe me out. <laughs> it's good for it. And your stupefied is good as well. Good. And she will take the half damage from it. Yeah. Take that. As she does uh, have we... a spirit to attack. Uh, and then I'm gonna give them a sweet intimidating glare because I'm within 30 feet. <laughs> Go for it. Mm, nah. Oh. She's pretty good. She's a big stone angel. Yeah. Take all a look right. to stay back, yeah. That's all done. Yeah. Nathana. Um. All right. I'll give Warden Spirit now, and I will do the Hunter's aim. Fair yeah. enough. I'm gonna pass Shadow Projectile. It's well. Get that crit. Oh, Jules, get that crit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh no. But it did no. two damage. <laughs> I mean, look, it is being nickel and dimed. That's my turn. All right. Harry. All right. Um, to use my last third level spell or fifth level spell or nah? Um, I will. Probably a bad idea at the moment, speaking as the GM. You should do yeah, it. I know, that's what I figure. Um, but I... And also, you know, being going aberrant form is not going to help me that much anyway. So, I am going to... It yeah. I'm going to inspire courage, which yep. will be the last time I can do that, I think. Um, that'll be my last record point. And I'm going to... Yeah. Sweet. Let's, let's see, let's see what... How it feels. Yeah, no. You have hero points. Point. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Cool. Right. Well, you're, you're axe pinging off the stonework. Uh, bing, bing. Uh, all right. Lost. Chill. I actually got a cost. Field. Yeah. Honestly, I think that's probably a good call. Yeah, when I'm this close, that yeah. sucks some damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Princess. So, as Ninzad pointed out, uh, Princess is going to take out a small marker and draw a face on the wall first. <laughs> and uh, then she's going to punch. All that right. That would do it. That would do it. Yep. All right, give me that flex check. Yeah, you're good and yeah. through. Let me right. get that wall for you. Thank you. Uh, come on. Oh, I like what's happening there. That's fine. We're just going to do it this way. Magic. Ah, it's I'm free. It's kind of magic. Uh... Uh... Uh, Do you need me to drag you? I would love that. Still have so many punches left. All of the punches. I think I need to redo you. As you smash through the antechamber. I don't know it's if I'm worse. targeting her. I uh, believe you are, but it looks the things. Okay. Fingers crossed. Wow. That's going to be a miss, unfortunately. Dang. Okay. Okay. Oh, God, you're all going to hate me. <laughs> you mean hate you more, man. Yeah, because we loved you so much <laughs> in the previous fight, Matthew. You got for the last fight fine. Not all of us. <laughs> hmm? That's where I just came from, man. Oh no, it's worse. As she starts that. to walk away from the two of you. Yeah, take your oh, hand. She Mm -hmm. She starts to walk away from the pillar without takes a bunch of hits. Yep. Uh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell okay, yeah! Oh that first. <laughs> damage! Freaking tight damage. Oh. Okay, so she doesn't move from there. Cause... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, a actually. Hit. Oh yeah. It, it, and the trigger was a manipulate action. I think it's not an attack of opportunity, it's like got slightly yeah. fewer things it can interrupt. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll double check. If the attack is a critical hit and the trigger was a manipulated action, the action is interrupted. Okay, so she still walks away. Yeah. Yeah. But at what cost? Bitch. At what cost? Yeah, look. Um, minus 10 from Princess. But. That's uh, 10 from me. Ow! Just... <laughs> Minus 10 for the axe that's like... It's still 62 damage! It's a Jeez. Reese. And it's worse, because like as she starts... In the face by a blowgun. <laughs> as she starts stepping away, you see her making the same gesture she did at Princess earlier, Harry. And I just and feel as if you're... Smack any cap at this <laughs> <laughs> just like no please Always god no off. yeah but her final two actions oh <laughs> i've been put um, in an anti-chamber it's to summon an anti-chamber around the two of you incredible uh that, that was her done i can't stand a one-trick pony i just look at 
I'm not cracking it off. It's like uh, a C4 charge on it. This person has me against this whole time. This, this person is using anti chambers as a weapon. <laughs> These are the people who apparently were responsible enough to own this. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna... We're gonna rip them apart and put every part in a different antechamber. That would be so good. Oh, wow. Come on. <laughs> Even with the hero point. Yeah. Yeah, it would have passed. Oh, uh, well. That was bold. Um, now that I understand how the spell works, I attempt to use Blood Feast and turn into a Gug and bite them. Um... But it didn't work, so yeah. now I'm a sorcerer standing next to the enemy. Anyway, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Nathano. This is fine. It's up to you to get that big, big sonic damage. Yeah. I think. Um, now, Matt, yep. I think volley shouldn't apply. I oh, think... they're within 30, and that's the closest square, is it? Mm. It's the back of them. <laughs> I can't I can't designate the square. I think it's no, the closest okay. square to me. Um, that is correct. You know what? I think I'm going to do absolute piss all damage with volley. Yeah. That's going to mean I probably will only get a hit at best. It um, does have a hefty armor class. Yeah. I am... Oh, man, I can't move anywhere. Can I see the door from here? You can. Okay, this this pillar's not in the way? Uh, or... incidental cover. So, plus one if you're going to hit. Because what I'd like to do is use my first action to shoot a climbing bolt to the door and then spend the rest of my turn attempting to assist by trying to wrench the door open via the rope. Oh, I'll allow that. You can use, like, the pulley weight from the pillar. Yeah. So, I will, um, yeah, shoot a climbing bolt. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna re-roll that. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah! <laughs> ah, how you love it when a plan comes together. Well, I, I could have used enough to 20 in a different, in a different circumstance, I think, but I'll take it. Um, and then, yeah, spend the rest of my turn. Uh, Prepare uh, to I aid? I doing athletic specs. Yeah. Um, because you rolled a natural 20 on that, I'm going to give the aid bonus to be at least a plus one. Can, can the arrow do this thing where it sort of loops around the door handle a few times before it starts to stop? Oh, absolutely. Stopped? <laughs> 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 yeah. just, like, just fucking ridiculous and not at all something that, that happens. That's not but... how that works. <laughs> kind of wrap, how that the, works. <laughs> wrap the rope around your wrist a couple of times, like up your forearm yeah. as you kind of leverage sure. the weight against the pillar. You're ready so for this. So would you this. like me to do a uh, athletics check or when they attempt? When they attempt. Sure. All right. That's my turn. All right. Speaking of, though, Harry, you're in an antechamber. Yay. Wrong. Um, all right. Let's stay away out of here. Um, Nathana. Oh, -hoo. Oh, wow. No, that'll do it. You open the door, Harry. You kind of brace yourself against it. Um, you kind of see it starting to bone Thana. So you kind of start pulling as well. And between your two efforts, you get the door open. Nice. All right, then. I'm going to move out here. Oh, I can't inspire courage. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why can't you inspire courage? Points, right? Does it use focus points? No, it's, it's a cantrip. cantrip, so it doesn't. Then yeah, cool. I'm gonna inspire courage. Everyone's got that. That way, if she comes at me, I'll chop. Up, I'll take the other knee. <laughs> well, these opponents are a little bit more brutal than some of the others you have been coming up against. More informed. Go get him, princess. What? Grab that girl. Go oh, get. <laughs> That's you done though, Harry. Yeah. Easy done, princess. Yeah. I opened the door this round. How far away? Are they? 
I'm just moving out to see how far away she is before I... Oh, before right, you right. start measuring things? Or I'm fucking not going anywhere because apparently movement is too complicated for me now. I don't know what's going on. Everyone else has is having zero problems with it. Okay. But there so you go. Yeah. It's just you. Hey, Pixel. Welcome uh, in Raiders. I'm going to... Uh, uh, sudden uh, shot. Oh, welcome, welcome, what? Pixel. Um, our players are currently fighting the um, architect of the Abomination Vaults, who has the unusual ability to summon antechambers to entrap yeah, their and foes. It's, it's kind of fucking us up. Play it properly, Nat. Your players are fulfilling a lifelong grudge, and my lifelong, I mean, the last four weeks in game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move you, Princess. Thank um, you. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's... They've I mean, been getting it's... through it, but... Oof. I have altered some things from the original Abomination Vaults, so... You mean they can't organically cast Summon Antichamber? <laughs> no, that is not something they usually can do. See, uh, <laughs> an opportunity, to be honest. Like Pathfinders, Pathfinder, no, Pizer, yeah. on that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. it is one of the things that comes up quite often whenever I see discussions of people playing for Abomination Vaults. They'll go through mm. some of the other things, like severe encounters and things like that, and then they'll go to the whole. Also, there's a lot of anti chambers. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just think Pizer just didn't know what they had and they didn't realize, and it was a missed opportunity. Well, from a design perspective, it means you can easily kind of section off the fights. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but in the anti-chambers, they're actually just loading the next run. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah, load point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, it's just world. the rubber banding that happens on the MMO server, because yeah. no one has servers in Australia, so. Yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah in-world, the uh, door salesman made it absolutely fucking killing that day. <laughs> He's like, you're going to want the full <laughs> deluxe package, right? Extra anti-chambers, double doors the whole way around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? It can't do its slowing pulse for a while now, because I actually rolled really low on that. But, sorry, I rolled really high. I do have to roll the anti-chamber, though, one now. Well, <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. Not again this fight. Disappointing. I mean... She's there. She has the sorcerer. Um, Princess is a little bit more of the threat, however. I've been known um, as that, yes. Wow. See how it is. I mean, it's fine while Princess was trapped. She could go after the sorcerer, but, you know, now they're there. Local threat, Princess Punchface. Pretty much. That'll be a hit. I'm rolling super low tonight as well, which is not helping things at all. And then for its second strike, it'll be against you, Eider. I believe it shouldn't have the frightened condition anymore. It should be. Do not that it's helping much. Not that, yeah. Him thinks Tamlin. Is that a villain point for me, Hillbot? <laughs> Amazing. Because, you know, I'll take it if that's the case. I think it is. It does look like one. Boop. Incredible. And third and last action. It's going to come around and swing with its wings to try to hit you, Princess. Oh, nice. That would be a hit. <laughs> Look at them starting to roll in chat. Oh no. 22 damage, and I get another villain point. I'm not sure mm. if you want to be doing this, <laughs> giving me this many villain points, chat. Just rub it with a void. Just to make uh, sure we know that one's a villain point. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> they yep. might very well be fighting the campaign boss after this. Uh, we'll be fine. <laughs> We're fine. Be bad. All right, that is her done, though. Eiter, up close and personal with the architect. Yeah, that's where I'm heaps good. I'm mad good. 
Uh, I'll <laughs> punch him. Uh. I'll punch him in the face. Uh, -ah. Um. I don't. I don't make that sound. What are you talking about? Hoo -ah. <laughs> what happens if I cast <laughs> Stone to Flesh on this person? Uh, it's no. a six level spell. I don't have it. Oh, uh, thank God. But, you know, just, just out of interest. Oh, that would have been uh, awful. I would like to turn. Well, no one's done flesh, a... and then the flesh into compy. Um, <laughs> oh. No one's done a recall knowledge on the architect. <laughs> no, I'm saving my my big juice for Belcora. The one that follows me is compy. Yeah, they are all compy. Well, um, I'm sort of running out of spells as well. I uh, I'm gonna cast. Doll of Destruction on my good friend Princess, Princess yeah. Punch Face. Um, Me. He's <laughs> already an angel. Wow. So if Tamarin could. Uh... <laughs> right, that's what you were laughing at before, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, God. Far out. The enemy is unaffected. I'm just going to run away. That's fair. Uh, to here and hope I don't get something. Oh, no, look, there's other targets so now. All right, that's my turn. That's your turn? All right. Yeah. Nathana. The thing is looking um, very damaged. Yeah, I'm going to move. Here. Would you say that she needs there? Okay. She what, sorry? She needs repair. Repairs. He does he might need repairs. repairs. There we go. That's the critical we've been after. E. Um, and if it helps, she's yeah. immobilized. <laughs> DC 10 athletics. I think she'll be fine, but she's also deafened. Because we haven't been doing that on my critical hits with my bow, but it does actually have the deafened from the Sonic. I don't know what Deafen does, and I suspect it's not particularly useful, but... It just makes all my spells not work anymore. Oh, so... really? Um, it's... Oh, shit. <laughs> it is actually <laughs> really good against casters, because they have trouble casting your spells if they're yeah. deafened. But she is yeah. immobilized. Do you mean to she... auditory fix? Um... Can I elect to not apply the Deafen, <laughs> given that it's a terrible synergy with our bard? <laughs> <laughs> Not much you can do about it, unfortunately. Yep. Yep. Hold on. Um, so move and hunt, aim, that's my turn. Just things with the auditory trait, it doesn't make them immune to sonic damage, right? No, it uh, doesn't. I sonic damage sonic is a different auditory. thing. Yeah. Oh, right. fair enough, cool. Alright. Um, I believe that conversation came up with something else recently. Click the heels of my Thunderblast slippers together, these little women sandal looking motherfuckers. Oh, um, And I'm Thunder going to uh, take a running uh, at old mate. Uh, they need to make a stirs. I'll go and that way Princess doesn't get targeted by uh, maybe. Uh, basic fortitude. Thunderblast she is... is what I call my underwear with holes in it. Um, I mean, it's only success. Uh, I'm just gonna roll 46. She will take half damage from this, but I will give you a yeah. slight little spoiler for this one. I take six damage. That's rough. Oh, you're targeting yourself uh. at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it that way. That makes a bit more sense. I, 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 I put my heels together, the start to like spark, and I launch myself full speed through uh, the architect and out yep. the other side. Um, no, <laughs> and I just, as I pull to a skidding stop, I just go, that one's for Andy. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
And just to add a little bit of flavor, as you kind of crash through her and kind of charge in, uh, she brings up a wall to stop you and to prevent your movement. And you just completely smash through it. Like wall after wall, just bash through every single one of them before you go all the way through, reducing her to nothing but dust and rubble. That's what I call a bouncing charge. I'd like to... (laughs) I'd like to rip off one of her wings and just eat it. It's, it's <laughs> just casually. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Copy. no totes. <laughs> uh, with that done, however, uh, we might go to our ten-minute break. Yeah, yeah. As so these two point. doors unlock. What two doors? How much money can we get for that big skull? <laughs> if we can get it out of here. Um, I, I got my foot. <laughs> uh, we're going to be going to our short little 10 minute break, everyone, just so we can stretch our legs. I can get a coffee, all that other fun stuff. Uh, thank you, Raiders, for coming in. Um, you're always welcome here. And Pixel, thank you for trusting me with your community. I hope they're having fun already. Uh, like I said, I wasn't sure how quickly they'd get through these fights, but it looks like they're going to be going up against the campaign boss tonight. So stick around for that. They're going to be fighting Belcora herself. Uh-oh. I've made a couple of alterations to the boss fight as well. So um, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. And we shall see you back very soon. Hey, everyone. And we are back from our break. The thing that I should have known. That like would have been really obvious, right? It's like when they get art or something like that. You made them a freaking channel emote, and now they're dead, Matt. <laughs> the fuck. Well, Ider two won the poll. Um, so with yeah, 101 I, I really votes. I was too busy slandering Matt in the uh, in the options for the poll to remember that uh, I should put princess in the poll. It's fine. That's my bad. I'll take so that. The- so that's supposed to be Princess? No, that's Ida. <laughs> All right, well, we'll give it to Ida then. All right, bam. So, players. That's us. I, well, a couple of things. Congratulations, you're about to move into the final room. Ooh. So. Have we Brace yourselves, brother, however. This is going to be a, something of a difficult fight. Yeah, can we be fully healed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can um, I, can, I can just keep back? spamming heal checks. Like, I'd no, say no, for 20 I minutes. Would also, I, I really want spells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you mean like full on rest? Rest. Um, yeah, ideally. Well, we did find the teleportation circle for this level. I think it would be pretty trivial to just head back up and do a proper sleep and then head back down. If you want to do that, you absolutely can. Did we send Belcora an entry notice? Yeah, it sounds formal, right? That sounds polite. <laughs> can, we... <laughs> can, can we absolutely make it we formal and polite? Entry... Can we slide an entry notice under the door and tell her that we'll be around tomorrow? <laughs> Just like mm. bag an eviction notice on the door. <laughs> can it, yeah. can it yeah. start with something like, hey, dickhead? <laughs> <laughs> to whom it may concern. More like smell Cora, am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here's, I can just play, fade to black. You know, you go upstairs and come back. Is there anything you want to do as final preparations overnight, however, while you're doing this long rest? Particularly, Iter. Are you going to try to... Do you want to try to restore comedy? Oh, good question. Do you have a combat sheet for Loggy? Can we bring Loggy along? It's not at the right level, unfortunately. But, yeah, they're they're a bit crap. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I will. Like, you think you will? Yeah, I'll try. It seems... <laughs> well... We do have a fair bit to go through tonight, so just by way of kind of speeding things along to the fight we're yeah. all eager for, give me a quick yeah. religion check. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 
Uh, it's a ritual. Uh, yeah. Uh, That's done. Yeah. Very hard by level. The ritual. Yeah, look at that guy. Uh... Look at that guy. Look at that. <laughs> He's not even made of meat or anything. The ritual does take a couple of hours, but you are able to reach into the mycelium network and through that time, grab the fragmented pieces of compi that have been spread out and kind of collect them through. Uh, I will say, however, while you're within the mycelium network, trying like reconnecting his essence back into the one form, you do sense something different about it. Something has changed oh, with it overnight. So okay. the core has gone and got into the mycelium network. Well, that will never get to the. <laughs> yeah. What? 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 What's the feel? What's? Is it like? So, like when you're at a, a soccer game and you try and use your phone, but there's heaps of like cell congestion, or yeah, it's. it's... There feels like there's some sort of entity or force that has kind of forced its way in and is uh -huh. trying its best to spread out through it. Right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That sounds real good. <laughs> Otherwise, once the ritual is complete, you get Compy back. Yay! He seems Get up fine. in the morning <laughs> and like kind of just like Todd falls out of the chapel with another pumpy and we're just all just like side up. <laughs> this is fine. It's fine. It'll be fine, right? Now. I'm pretty sure this one's good. I give him a good slap on the back. It's squishy. Yeah. There's a uh, what's the word again that we squelch? No. There's Slor a slurping sound. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna make an occultism check just to see if Pumpy seems off. He seems like Pumpy to me. I'm like <laughs> right. when he like he he seemed like not present enough mentally to be able to focus on anything that was happening. He's now like not present enough to focus on your uh like physical form, but he is somehow staring into your soul. Oh, right. well, comfy then. <laughs> I stand back in. I swap him on the back. <laughs> Alright. Rest. I'm gonna pass around a fine drink for everyone. Aww. Princess's Princess left leg. Nathana <laughs> <laughs> doesn't think twice of it. Like, maybe in the past, but now she's like, I'm so into your shit. This is great. Stay around what you have to do. And you pass the drinks around, and there's a little bit of a revelry, revelry that happens. But otherwise, you have Belcora to fight. Mm. I'm gonna so, punch uh, so hard in the face, you guys. What's the what's the play here, friends? What are we doing? Well, what what door do you think she's under? Uh, Let's just uh, start here and work our way around. We makes sense. Uh, am I still stupefied? Um, overnight you'll be fine, as your connection is restored. It's creepy. I imagine the. Does anything happen when we open that, or can we look what's in the other room first? You can enter a little bit further if you like. I'm keeping an eye on things. Alright, hold on. Take a little peeky. <laughs> a little peeky push. Much the same. Not that. Uh, well, this explains the river. These this one ones appears are locked. to be locked. Yep. All right. Some of them are locked. Okay. All right, who's ready for some box text? Oh, yeah. Hey. Shit, where's the emote? Where's the emote? Oh, we got the emote. Um, by the way, Matt, I'm reading an action to hunt prey as soon as I see Belcora. 
Well, let me get for the books next, and we will get mm -hmm. there. This strangely shaped chamber is humid and oppressively clammy. The room's four wings each contain a massive pool of bubbling swamp water. The flickering motes of light and darkness play underneath the surface of the pools. The chamber's center is partially blocked by a circle of towering black standing stones, which crackle with eerie energy that shoots up into a shaft in the ceiling. Seven narrow channels, as though dug into the stone by a seven-fingered hand, run from each pool and free of the walls to a moat in the center of the room. From there, the water flows under the wall to the east, between a pair of black stone double doors. An island in the, mo in the moat holds a smooth altar topped with a black lens the size of a fist. <laughs> On the far western wall lies the form of a drider, cast in porcelain and brass, with delicate spider silk wrapped around it, a black lens embedded within its chest. Oh, wait. I thought there was only supposed to be one black lens. Uh, the black lens has been removed from the moat, or what is there is just the stand for it. Oh, okay. Where's this drider? Um, just over here. Hello. As you start to move over there, however, no, 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 no. let me put on the no movement thing. That's clever. <laughs> Every time, man. Every time. Um, uh, let me just quickly go through like the hero point rewards. What do it's we? Everyone. Have? Everyone has everything. I already added mine. I already added yours. Um, I, I, I only have two. Screen. Um, the graphic was incorrect. I only have one at the time. So I'll have two total right now. All right. I do apologize if I ever get the hero point things on the graphic wrong. The only means I have to make it autom automated is if I had it kind of tied to a, um, like a, uh, bits redeem thing, and I don't think I want to do that quite yet. Mm -hmm. But it is something I do want to look into in the future. Otherwise, as our heroes start to make their way into the chamber, you hear the disembodied voice of Belcora herself. Welcome, interlopers and would-be uh, landowners of <laughs> the landlord for my home. Hey, that's us. <laughs> it is a pleasure to finally greet you in my inner chambers. Uh, well, hello, greeting. hello, <laughs> would-be conqueror of Absalom, my home, <laughs> even though you've never, you know, left here. Well, I must say, I have learned so much from all of you. Particularly from you, Princess. Yay! <laughs> I'm an inspiration. You have been so very inspirational to me. See, I have been a ghost for an awful long time, and just watching your actions throughout this entire dungeon and the actions of all you and your compatriots it feels as if being a ghost is not the strength that I thought it was. And I saw your fearlessness over and over again. No fear of death, no fear of your actions causing disaster. Oh, like recklessness, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Just barging through doors. And I was fascinated by this. Just one of my favorite Futurama bits I'm gonna do just try this kids at home and then she has a drink and lights up a smoke <laughs> <laughs> and I was curious about this so I've been watching you and I've taken the time to get to know you a little bit more and I realized where this fearlessness comes from and as she says this And I'll pull the um, big picture. Um. Oh, how fantastic. Mm. Well, I would say I'm, I'm feeling a lot of fearless with fearlessness right now. Uh, What's with the <laughs> stupid fucking haircut? <laughs> yeah. uh, that is 
maybe one of the scarier things I've seen. <laughs> this this is just a prototype, princess. But I realize the weakness of a spirit is that it can be destroyed. So I've done a couple of things to ensure my immortality. The first, I've had myself built a new body, as you can see. The is this second, where the voice is coming from? It's kind of disembodied for the most part, but it is definitely starting to come alive. <laughs> and as it is, she continues and goes, and I've made sure that the reach of my spirit, should you destroy me, can reach far beyond these four walls of this tower and reach all the way into the swamp and beyond. At this point, the head kind of comes alive a little bit more and its eyes start to glow and it looks to you, Eider. And with its rictus grin kind of just nods to you. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. But I've been watching us this whole time, learned something for us, but you still can't tell a good joke. Uh, this thing is scary as hell. No, it's stupid <laughs> as hell. Look at it. All right. It, it's the spider legs for me. I'm not a big fan of the bug legs. <laughs> oh, no, that's a. Guess what? They are wicked easy to just rip right off. Just to snap off, it's fine. Yeah. And that's the thing, right? If she's in there, all we have to do is make sure she don't move no more. All right. I will get initiative from everyone also chat let me know if that ambient noise that you're hearing is a little bit too much because it does have a tendency to just kind of off and on do some demoralizing screaming actually what i might do is i'm just gonna disable it very close to max All right, and then she's gonna roll initiative. Her initiative's not gonna be great, but are we all ready to fight Belcora, the reborn yeah. puppeteer? Yeah. I was in the wrong guy. Yeah. Oh my god. Iter, you're up first. Yay. Well, Belcora um, seems to have fashioned herself something of a body made of a construct-like body. And kind of replaying through your head as you are faced with this, you remember scenes or memories of the last couple of days or weeks in the Abomination Vaults of seeing several constructs and soul stones embedded within them. I, uh... I don't actually know where they are. Let's move into the room. Whoops. No, that was wrong. Whatever. Try again. Here. There also, if the spider legs are for too, are too much for people, just let me oh, know. No, it's fine. Even in chat. Because I do currently have it displayed on the stream as well. Oh, okay. I see them. Yep. Alright, let's see what happens when we do stuff to them. 70 feet out. Uh, yeah. That also intersects the giant hit loss. I don't know. Sorry, what? The line you just drew, if you were to do a ray, there's a big block of stone here, right? Yes. Alright, oh, okay. Yep. I'm with you. Well, then I might move again. No, that's a ruler still. I'll move again, hide behind this big block of concrete, uh, and command my good friend Compi uh, back from the dead once again to move up as well. With a new ambition? Back from the dead, back to the dead? I don't know. Something How like that. that. Yeah. Uh, that's my turn. That's your turn? Yeah. Uh, Princess Punchface. Yeah. Yep. Uh, As you start your turn, uh huh. 
I need you to make a reflex save for me. I can do that. Shazam. <laughs> you want to re-roll that one, or are you good? Hmm. First roll. That one. Ah, uh, you know what? I can't do worse than a that one, so... That's it. There you go. That'll still be a failure. Yeah. As you feel delicate, silvery-type strands tighter around your body, you may continue your turn. Okay, well, that's just sort of made me angry. So, rage. There we go. Yep. Move. Dang it. Move. And let the punching begin. Give me that punching. Oh my god. God damn it. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's you done. Yeah. That's three actions, baby. Yeah, baby. You know what? She should move somewhere. That'd be that'd really show me. <laughs> yeah, that would really show you. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, she's gonna step. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite what you're after. Maybe if she could do something manipulative. Well, unfortunately, attacks don't have the manipulate trait. Sons of bitches. Her whole being is has been manipulative. Like <laughs> she's a puppet. Just yeah, everything surely, that she does. Yeah, surely her presence is manipulative. Now look, let let's be exact here. She's not a puppet in this instance. She's just a puppeteer. And what is she inhabiting? She is lashing out at Harry with a strand of silk. Oh, I've been hit by some string. You guys. Titans around you. <laughs> what a, what a <laughs> stitch up. <laughs> Seems like this situation was tailor-made for me. <laughs> there we go. You are grabbed as it kind of <laughs> titans around you. <laughs> Now, hang on a second, because that is a ranged strike which has the manipulate trait, I believe. Or it does proc attack with opportunity. Again, yeah, no, you are absolutely it? correct. Because it is <laughs> a range attack. I thought it was reach 60 feet, it is range 60 feet. It's really looking like the only time hey. you, can, you can hit the princess at the moment is if it's an attack Good of opportunity. Side. I also always do one and then a high number. <laughs> D12s for you. Uh, you are grabbed for her final action. We're going to do that. And then she's going to pull you in closer, Harry. Oh, well, that's amazing for moving. So that's... I appreciate that. We... 30 yep. feet. Let's take it off the ruler because the GM is not immune to that. And that is her done. She had to step up where she'd be crowded, and I don't want that. Nathana. Um, so I couldn't really see her, but I'm assuming while she was monologuing that Nathana wasn't just standing there going, I wonder where she is. Um Correct. would I have had time to uh -oh. hunt prey her while she was talking? To hunt prey, yes. Alright. I'm going to use two move actions to get here. Lovely. And then hunted shot, so Correct. two arrows. Two um, arrows? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, one second. Let's do that. Yeah, just that's quite a bunch of stuff. Alright. Nope. Oh, oh dear. I'm gonna toss shadow right for oh. my reaction. I'll leave that one. So, Ruby asking if I can come over and present. Well, so you can give let's... me a... I will say it. It's easier than... Once my shit's in. That'll be a failure. <laughs> I'll take, Wait, I'll take a... Uh, 
Yeah, I've got um, and the shadow well, objective will make it hit. Attack. That's the... Well, the natural one was the first oh. strike. I applied it for the second one. You applied for the second one, so is that going to hit now? That will hit now. Oh, yeah, I amazing. said it as you did your... As you did the second <laughs> strike. <laughs> sure. And that is the first one. Nice. Oh, right. That's and, and then everything else is just means that they just sit on the floor of the car. Just so... All right, Nathana, you take a chunk out of it, uh, but whatever it's made its form out of is a little bit more protected than you might expect. Really? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, that's my turn. Yeah, yeah. All right, Harry. I don't know. Um, I am going to. Based on princess. Oh, sorry. Before you can, before you oh, yeah. kind of get swinging into oh. things, I need you to make a reflex save. Yeah, makes sense. Secret invisible strings and whatnot. Where is my saves? Within a radius around her or something. Oh, oh that one. Gotta, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna reroll that one. Also, I gotta take one off of Princess, because she did that as well. Alright, that will be a success. So you will only take half of this. Nice. Alright, and you may continue your turn. Alright, uh, nice on Princess. Uh, you are and currently then... grabbed at the moment. Does that mean I... Uh, There's a flat check for the ma manipulate check. The five? It is five. <laughs> oh, God. You're good. <laughs> My little heart. Uh, and then, <laughs> what, what else to do but try and swing at one of these legs? Um, That'll be a miss, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Okay. Unfortunately. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's to be expected. It's not really the position I wanted to be in, but yeah. You dragged really you into it. Get some more, some more buffs off. Yeah, literally dragged me into it. <laughs> Iter. That's me. Not you. Yeah. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take a step down to here, ish. Maybe like here. Yeah. Spoken right around the corner. Yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna cast spiritual torrent. All right. In a line. If they could make a fortitude save, please. You could certainly give it a shot. Uh, that's a success from her, so she'll take half damage. Very good. That is a lot of dice, though. Four. Half a third nine, please. She is a spirit, so... Wait, no, that's supposed to be a little bit extra. There we go. <laughs> it's supposed to be 10 extra from the vital damage, not 10 less. Okay, and they only took 10 extra, not 20 extra. Uh, so that would be 19 plus 10, because it's half damage. Mm. That receipts so, say yeah. 29. All right, let's try this. Oh, okay, I see what happened. So it did actually yep. apply it for me. All right. I think it did it properly. Yeah. Yeah, it's been applying it properly recently, which has been nice. It just sometimes doesn't. Mm. <laughs> I think it was the switch over with vitality and void and stuff. The few of my spells didn't get updated properly. They still did negative damage. Or oh, okay. Yeah. That's fine. You're 
cool. they're doing an awful lot of work over there on Foundry, and it's yeah, yeah, yeah. understandable. <laughs> Um, Compi, without command, uh, just sort of, like, fixates their, uh, their stare on Harry and approaches towards them. Proceeds towards them. Oh. It's me? Towards you. Like a fixated focus upon you. Uh... Uh, is that you done, a voice Zider? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm done, yep. Step. Cast. All right. Princess. All right. So where is this lens? Uh, embedded within her chest. If you wish to attempt cool. to grab it, you can. I would either... love that. You will need to get a critical hit, and instead of doing the extra damage, you remove the lens. Hmm. So is that punching or athletics? Punching. Okay. Well, I mean, you were gonna do that anyway, right? Goes to crit fishing. <laughs> That's a hit. Oh, darn, I only get to damage you. Oh, no. That's a good damage. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. Try again. That's what I did. And again. There's skill plus 10. And again. Just swing, swing, swing. What, the punching barbarian's just punching? Ooh, wow. Ooh. Wow, shocking. I mean, I know four you have... chances to roll on 20 and a turn's pretty good. That is. <laughs> I, I wish I would take it up on that. Um, it's just I know you have, like, grab options and stuff, but I also know this is a huge-sized creature, so you Yeah, can't. I don't have grab options, actually. Would you like to? Nah. <laughs> princess punch face, not princess grab face. That's a different princess. I'm pretty oh. sure they were all the monsters that fought Harry in level one, right? Or yeah, no. A lot of a lot of grab face going on there. That was a lot of grab face. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a hell of a callback, but yeah. Yeah. Well, Penitha. Hey. Uh, this is going to inflict an attack of opportunity. Okay. Oh, uh, take it. So, he, however, will not. That will be a hit. Yes. On who? On Nathana? Oh my god. Uh, what happened to the real, real dean? That's the question. If you're all reeled in, then you can all be afflicted by her aura. Uh, that's true. And then she's gonna pull string. Doing the athletics check. I feel like going to work. Nathana. Yeah. That will work. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It doesn't take much do against against a spindly ranger. As you also get pulled into by her side. Quick roll into a defensive ball. <laughs> And for a final action, well, Princess, she's just going to try to hit you. Good just with her it. normal thing. Just her normal thing? Yeah, her claws. Yeah, I figured that would miss. Nathana! You're born a loser, you will die a loser. She's using her hands to pop a teeth. Um, I'm just going to, oops, sorry. Difference. I'm just going to reflexively um, get my quills out. Yes. Oh, literally, yes. <laughs> Bristle, okay. Have you used that ever? <laughs> Once before. And that's when the really awful fucking weird thing got the jump on me, and I was like, ah! We all freaked out because of this. Yeah. Now, here's the thing I've realized. I can't give Princess Flurry if she's raging, because it's Hunt Prey, which has a concentrate trait. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, well, that's how they... some really deep inter interconnected rules interaction right there. Mm -hmm. um, have a look at the tower shield sometime. <laughs> I have caused so many fights with that thing in the last week or two. Yeah. Um, I do need you to make a reflex save, though, Nathana. Uh, uh, Certainly. I have a feeling I'm going to be okay. Yep, you're fine. Alright. 
as you dance through the extra strings. What do you consider the rules for a melee attack with an arrow? <laughs> Just stabbing her with the arrow? Uh, if yep. they had attack of opportunity, it would so make, it, it, it would be able to do the attack of opportunity. Uh, yeah. As far as you wish, given that, not. Would I need to make an attack roll, given that I'm like right in her face and I just want to just literally just jam it with the tip of an arrow? You would with the dagger, right? So like... Yeah. Roll it as a dagger, yeah. but then, and if you hit, the arrow is destroyed. Like. Sure. Are you happy with it being an agile trait weapon? Yes. Daggers I'll allow right. agile for this. In which <laughs> case... <laughs> I will uh, roll my unarmed strike attack. I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to re-roll that with a hero point. Oof. Oof. Do I lose the arrow? Do you think? I'm happy to. Uh, you, well, as in this case it wouldn't actually have dug in, so it's not consumed, it's not expended. Alright. Um. So it would have been bristle... Uh, action to activate the arrow and um, yeah, actually no yeah, shit I would not have been able to attack Hi, with two actions to, to cast the spell to okay nope I've still got one attack left because I'm going to use my life shot arrow that's the only way I've been able to do this okay um I'm going to attempt another unarmed strike alright but this is agile so it's good oh no <laughs> that's my turn alright how are you all right i am going to inspire courage yep. so i think we all need a little coverage right now oh. um, and oh uh, no actually yeah. no you're good um i do need you to make a reflex save when you're ready though yeah um and i need i still need to make a flat check if i'm I'll just, I'll cop the damage buckets. Um, um, Inspire Courage doesn't have the manipulate trait. No, but I, I want to pass it for now. Uh, well, might as well risk it. Uh, I roll that flat check. Pick around, this is a very obvious success. So, we can come. The action is lost. That's my turn. <laughs> And you'll take the 21 damage from the aura as well. Yeah. Alright uh, guys, get inspired. That's all I've got. <laughs> uh, I still lose that spell. You do still yeah. lose the spell, no. unfortunately. You lose the... Oh, inspire courage is gone. No, inspire, no, inspire courage, courage is there. The, the fifth oh. level uh, agonizing this thing to cast is gone, though. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> All right, Hider. Okay, well, I've had it forever and I never use it. Now's the time. I'm going to cast a long spell. A long spell? What's that yeah. spell shapes being used? Well, I know, right? It's, they're so costly, a whole action. Uh, I just don't want to get close to this thing stringy business. Um, you are cool. next. I... <laughs> I'm going to cast Doll of Destruction. Alright, oh, right. so she uh, has to make a make... will save? Yes, please. In this form, will save is pretty <laughs> bad for her. I was wondering that. But I haven't been able right. to get a spell off. I will pop the message out. I'll pop the spell out and uh, chime in whenever it's relevant. Alright. Um, 46 mental damage, wow. And, uh, I'll switch back to the not ruler. Uh, oh. Compi continues to mindlessly move. Uh, it was Harry that killed Compi last mm -hmm. night, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, he, he only has one action, so he'll move. Oh, next Jesus. To Harry. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Incredible. <laughs> All right. That's me. That's you. Princess. Yep. Punch face. Oh, wait. 
I think people both hit the next turn on the same point. There we that go. That was me, sorry. Yeah. You're right. Um, <laughs> Copy spends a free action to breathe and he's dead. Yeah. Absolutely. It's full of spittle. Like, just breathing has oh. spittle. Wow. Oh, no. That's so good if I could hit things. <laughs> the size of a goddamn barn. Great. Like I said, well, you, you are. Didn't... You're just not making any purchase. Wow. Super. Oof. Ouch, that hurts. Okay. Am I wrong with... Does the graphics say that you have two hero points? You are wrong, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have none hero points. You started the fight with three, just so you're yeah. aware. Yeah. I have no idea. You. We all start. Yeah, we all started the fight with three. There was a, I have there was a mad flurry as the box text happened of uh <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. I still have two hero points, so the graphics um Let me fix that. I have, it's all good. Should have two then. Wonderful. Do, you, do you want to reroll that first one? Harry, another one? Yeah, let's give the first one a reroll. <laughs> Makes sense. Let's see how that one works out for everyone. Mm. I'm not expecting much. Hey. That's not a critical. Nope. I know. There's a funny meme with uh, Louise Loza crossing his arms, looking grumpy, and says, "19, not a crit." <laughs> That's <laughs> amazing. I mean, accurate. And then it takes the seven damage. This point face. And princess, princess gets a point. All right. Woof. I believe so that is 30, you done, though, Princess. Yeah. It, um, All right. Um, I need to measure um, out something. Um, because I want to get you all so close to me. I remember the last time I used this creature, the players were like, that is crazy. They were crazy. What do you mean the last time you used this creature? We don't have any creatures, man. Uh, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't this group that fought it. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, I would remember. I think. Yeah, no, probably. Yeah. I'm sorry for any nightmares you may receive. Uh, <laughs> Iter. Yep. You're being targeted. You have a plus one uh, circumstance bonus for the cover. Yay. It does oh. not help you. No, not this time. That's a ranged attack, isn't it? Which has it is. It sure is. It sure oh, does. Nice. I'm Anyone... going to take my courageous opportunity. Did I hear a range attack? Yeah, you did. Hero point, my courageous opportunity. <laughs> Yay! It's nine and four. Pain. <laughs> Well, Princess Yay. got the hit. Hey. And Harry, your hero point was also restored. Oh, good damage. Yes. Alright. 30 damage. Still up, however. And... You are grabbed, I directly roll damage to me. I'm about to do it Scroll now. There's a couple of things that have to be done. Yeah, I see. I found it. Did I roll damage? I did roll damage. You can ignore that 21. Let me delete that. Alright, and we know how this goes. That one athletic. <laughs> Run. That's the success on a seven by four. So it's you know three what, or above though? to succeed. You know what though? Are you gonna use a hero point? I'm gonna use a villain point. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. Try and get that. Try and get that crit. 
Oh, oh, Matt, it's oh. worse. Matt, oh, it Matt, it's worse. Matt, 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 it went, it went, How's that it feel? It went worse, actually. It was, <laughs> you wanted better, but it was worse. Functionally the same result. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I have to go through it as well. Uh, but you are dragged forward 15 feet. Yeah. Into the, so into the, the soul the, bog yeah, they, water? They drag me into the water. water. <laughs> and that will drag you in. That does put you in the range of the aura. But Quite, you can holy still... fucking... yeah, it's a big aura. It really is. It's one of the reasons why the last time I put players against it, they were like, that's bullshit. Yeah, when <laughs> auras are on creatures bigger than medium, they suddenly get huge, right? Yeah. Because it measures from their, like, outside, not the, like, finite point in the center. Ooh, that, that, that. And last action. I think Princess needs a little bit of a hit. I don't. <laughs> it's at minus five. You're fine. Mm hmm. Joke's on you, I am still fine. How oh, are you going? Oh, you're scared, oh, you're good. You're you know still what? barely injured, that's incredible. I'm goddamn <laughs> amazing. Nathana! Reflex save. Yes. Um... That will be a failure. Do you want to re-roll it? It's, it doesn't mm. deal too much damage. That's what I'm thinking. I'll save the points. And there's bloody penguins in there. Okay. <laughs> there's always bloody penguins. Bloody That's penguins. Fine. Can I do ranged attacks while grabbed? Is that a DC five flat check? Um, I don't believe so. Because okay, ranged attack is still a strike. It's just a strike with a yeah. ranged weapon. And it's more that it procs the attack well, opportunity see, okay. if it has it, which doesn't appear to. All right. Oh my god, Volley is just not <laughs> <laughs> long but in your face. I mean, it's a hit. Well, it's a hit. It'll Ten take what, like eight damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine. In my third action, I'm going to, as a free action, activate my life shot arrow and try this again. Yep. Um. That's a hit. All right, and it's just one d four vitality. Yep. Uh, no. And that will I'm... have to be manually applied because it's not. Um, yeah, my muscle memory tight. is um, immediately going to minus ten at the moment, so I had to redo that. But. Yeah. Yes. Nice. And the puppet goes dull as you fill it with vital energy. The light. Um, if it helps, she gets out. a plus one bonus against diseases and poisons <laughs> for one minute. I think that is kind of the least of her concerns right now. But. Movement change to a free movement. What? I'm gonna immediately battle medicine Harry. Yep. I'm um, grabbing that. And I'm that going to take assurance on this lens. Yeah. Um. Was it other things meant to happen, Matt? Just checking. Yeah. No. Do you think? If we forget a bit, or um, where's the ghost? No, we won. It's fine. Okay. Wait. Okay, oh. Harry, you can heal this up with battle medicine. And I'm going to do the same to myself, assurance battle medicine. And that takes okay. all of 12 seconds. No, in within oh. 6 seconds, because it's action each. Hey, I don't. Yeah. Uh, oh, the others wouldn't notice this. Um, you're kind of good when it comes to the magic. You know, 10th level sorcerer and all that. Um, mm. The spirit of, like, something emerged from the corpse of the construct. 
Yeah. As it did, however, the water started to bubble. This water in front of me? Or yes. like all of the four? It Ooh, started so... in the center and is starting to move out. Hey and guys. There's some sort of necromatic energy coming off of it, off of the water now. Hey guys, this, uh, I point at the bubbling water. This stuff's kicking off a bit, hey. It's, uh, it's real undead. Oh my god. Yeah, gonna... it doesn't look good. I'm it smells, gonna... like a... it smells like a Where do we go? I... I'm gonna point the lattice at it. Ooh, I'm gonna spot it. that person through the doors and hunt prey, whatever's coming towards us. You oh, absolutely Jesus. can. Guys, we got company. So you've hunted uh, prey, Nathana. You could also remove the grab condition off of you if you oh, put it on. Those morons. So you're doing your give me a perception check, Nathana. Yeah, I've done it again. You've done it again. I are become one. Give me one second. Because I need to reveal some information. I was going to make it. Ah, that the second part. If it took No. Nathana. <gasps> No. As you kind of line yourself up to hunt prey, your eyes kind of land on the Grave Knight. You've seen these before. But from the open face of the helmet, you recognize some distinct facial features as you recognize your brother Toma. So the arrow that I had ready to go, I'm just going to like drop the bow down to the, like, point it to the ground and like just. Um, I slacken the string so I'm not and I'm just gonna like start shaking my head um, as you continue to look at him the bottom half of his jaw has been sealed shut uh, necrotic flesh has been kind of stitched over it oh my god and you're reminded of the curse like, yeah. I also bought, um, that your brother is currently under. Yes. Just I need to check something super so, quick. Okay. Harry, as you see this Grave Knight come into the door, uh, you go to say something, and the words disappear in your mouth. You want to say something, but no sound. And that's when you realize that everything has just become deathly silent to you. It's just something that I can say, I guess, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, I get that. Oh. Uh, and I, but I look over, I see Nathana. She, she seems obviously upset. Yep. Uh, I mean, I've never met her brother, so I don't think I would. They're make twins. The same con I know they're <laughs> twins, but I still don't think I'd make the same connection yeah, after. Sure. Uh, Probably not immediately. Grave knighted. Um. Uh, I try back. I'm gonna try backing away from the. I do knife. step through the door. Yeah. You. Uh, I mean, like, fucking. I don't know who it is, but it's clearly some dude carrying around like a pole with heaps of skulls hanging on it. So I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna charge my laser. Obviously. You gotta charge your laser. Yeah, for sure. As you Does do this. Does my hearing come back at any point? Oh, I've got an idea of how its aura is. When you step out, I'll let you know. Okay. Um, as you're doing this, however, um, I'm pretty sure you can all see her as she appears, oh, finally. Form of... I won't oh, say God, flesh. Damn. But Belcora descends from the roof. We'll get players a good shot at her again. Fantastic. 
There it is, folks. It's what we've been playing for. Why does she look like a wacky racer? <laughs> These situations have such out, gravitas right? in them wacky racers. She descends from the roof. Still making sure to make sure that she is well from the ground, however. She she knows what she's up against. <laughs> no, she doesn't. And she says, well, uh, it's unfortunate that you uh, destroyed it. She looks to her body and goes, but that's fine. I can build another one. I'll just have to kill all you first. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I do apologize, Nathana. I had the pleasure of meeting your brother some months ago when he was sent here by the society. To his credit, he did defeat me. You bet. On my return, however, I exacted my vengeance. So mm. she's I'm going to, um, and by the way, if anyone had been um, looking at Nathano, they would have realized she was traveling a bit lighter on the way down, yeah, um, because she can't carry very much, but she wanted to make sure she had enough capacity to carry down the Whispering Reeds tome. Yep. And she's going to take that out of her bag and hold it up and say, let him go, release him from your grasp, and I will give this to you. Oh, is that all? Well, I could also destroy the fucking thing. I could always find another one. <laughs> There's only one of these. You can't trick a Pathfinder agent of these kinds of things. I know that this is the only copy that exists in the world. She smiles, and her jaw kind of extends out a little bit. It wouldn't be the first time I've tricked Pathfinders. Hmm. Well, you're clearly not playing around, and I'm going to drop the book on the floor, get out my flint and steel, and spark, spark a light on it, and try to burn it. All right. Now, I believe trying to destroy it exposes me to the empty death curse, and I need to do a DC 27 will save. I believe that is the case. Because it can be destroyed by, you know, mundane means. It's not special in that regard, but it just has that curse attached to it. And I'm going to hear it point that. <laughs> you know what? Fair. <laughs> Great. Oh dear. So I'm stupefied too. Um, if I die in this fight, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. No afterlife for me. I am fucking consumed stupid. by nimbleness. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? Book, it, hey, what? The book is destroyed. The book is destroyed. You're stupefied too. All right. You know it's it's Matt's job to make the boss fight hard, right? Like, yeah, and also we we've all discussed the book in depth, so I think we also would all know exactly what you've just done to yourself. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, we we uh, we have researched the book quite well. Uh, we did, there is a we way know... out of it for me in seven days' time. But okay, yeah, just... uh, we'll have to make it out of this room. First. Yeah, I'll check, yeah. check back in with you in a week. Yeah, I'm just hoping that this book severs some kind of fragment of power that's able to like take something away from her so that tome is not as much of a threat. You get the feeling that she was trying to bluff you out of not destroying it, and she does seem a little bit agitated that it is broken. I just feel like we could have. So it catches on fire, and I can feel like this up. icy grasp in my chest. Absolutely. Like, oh. <laughs> and in this place in particular, there is some extra things going on. Stuff the GM knows. <laughs> Where is Princess? <laughs> uh, down by Nathana. In a van. I'm very <laughs> tiny. <laughs> Uh, cool. The fine. water beneath your feet, filling with necrotic energy, and you get affected by this curse, pulls more of your energy out. Mm hmm. Giving you drained one as well. Mm hmm. Swan John. Son of bitch. Need a 
just do the two things I know. No. All that said, I think we're gonna end the session there for tonight. And dance. We got ten minutes no. left to go. I it would probably go for an extra hour. Are we yeah, all good? For, are we good for next week? However, should be yeah. Yeah. Right. I yeah? Have nothing planned. Excellent. This, I this is what we. This is what I've been working for for like the last what year. I'm I'm all here. You're all here. We're all good. Well. Next week, our heroes will be fighting the final form of Belcara Avaro to take her down and deal with the Abomination Vaults. Uh, I expect the fight to take about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on how well people go. Um, that said, however, um, afterwards we'll probably do, a, there's going to be a couple of other things that happen in the aftermath of everything. Um, depending on who lives and who dies for the grand finale. Welcome yes, to you, Nathana. <laughs> <laughs> well, can't be waiting in the wings. Yeah, no, there's going to be a couple of things that happen. But considering what we might do with time, um, I did something after the end of Outlaws of Valkenstar where I did a kind of retrospect with the players still here. We might do the same thing mm -hmm. with that next week. Yeah, after we defeated like Belcora and it, all the events have kind of wrapped up, if we've got some extra time left in the session. Defeated we'll Belcora? Okay. Character <laughs> epilogues. Character epilogues. Well, look, Jules brings up a good point. It all depends on whether you live or not. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll just be doing a recap on, uh, all right, well, we made it the whole way and then Tippy Cade, so uh, that's something. That's fun. Where well, do we think we went fun. wrong? <laughs> mm. Yep. Yep not coming to some sort of probate agreement on rent i guess would have been <laughs> should have discussed this a little bit more thoroughly i guess yeah. well yeah, yeah i just tend... said that she's welcome to stay here without paying any rent but she can't open an <laughs> airbnb business um yeah no i think i've got someone for a retire we might rave one of my friends they're currently playing resident evil 4. um that Ooh. said well, I think it'll work to you with kind of the, like the spooky feel and the vibes of the whole thing. But no, if mm. you've enjoyed the session, I'm glad you have, because I'm enjoying it thoroughly. I will probably have a slight debrief with my players afterwards, because a couple of things have happened. Um, surprises, etc. I don't think I've crossed the line, but we'll, we'll do the debriefing and stuff like that, because safety tools are very important. All that said... With our players oh, finally made it to the final floor of the Abomination Vaults and to fight Belcora herself for trials and tribulations, their adventure is almost over. Mm. But if you want to find out what happens next, you'll have to join us next week at 7pm Australian Eastern Daylight Time, where we'll be continuing Abomination Vaults for Pathfinder 2nd Edition by Paizo Publishing, presented by Tabletop Obscura, powered by Foundry VTT, with music by Michael Gelfi. Uh, we're going to be going for a bit of a raid, um, so make sure to let them know who sent you and drop the loggies in the chat for them so you know you can terrify them with that. Otherwise, oh, yeah. I hope you have a good day, a good night, a good week, no matter where you are in the world. And remember, as always, we're the storytellers. Good night, everyone. <laughs>